Si, I'm about ready for you to do these intros. Yeah, do, hey, just go, go ahead, Sai. Do you know what now I'm going to say? No. You know what that would be? What? That would be the start of the comedy hour. Well, then go. Uh, well, right. then we've no. already, we've, right. we're 18 seconds into that. Yeah, I thought that's, that's right. what we were doing. Si. Welcome to people. Welcome. Right. Welcome to people. Hey, welcome people to, what is it, duckcallroom slash dot com. Slash dot com. That's close enough. <laughs> hey, everything, <laughs> hey, everything slash dot com when you do computers, boys. At least I know that. They'll much. find actually, it, Actually, that si. recently changed. Oh, it's, it's recently changed? Yeah, it it's, be it's actually No dot, one informed me. It's actually dot com slash, not slash oh, dot, dot com. com. You've got the order duck. a little. There it is. <laughs> you, know but, he's, you know he's dyslexic anyway. <laughs> guaranteed. But I love the fact that. I didn't realize I said the word guaranteed a lot until we started this podcast. Guaranteed. Then people, guaranteed. People, people like to point that out. Martin, you've been on that guaranteed bag for guaranteed. a Guaranteed. Yeah, didn't realize it. But I'm glad somebody at home is listening and, and pays attention to that. But we're here in the Duck Call Room. Look, if you're new to the channel, be sure you subscribe. That's YouTube.com slash Duck Call Room. Once we get to 40,000 subscribers, which we're not far. We're you, getting closer. All the people getting that have closer. All the we're people getting closer. All the people that have ever commented with the word "sigh" and we're going to take any spelling of "sigh." That's I S S I. Oh, that's really the C-Y. only thing. So, oh, C Y. Okay, yeah. C Y. There's all kind of ways. To I like. Do that. you know a man named Sigh spelled C Y? Yeah. Yeah, he played baseball with Cy Young. Yeah, Cy Young. Young boys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He just whistle at baseball boys. But anyways, once we get to 40,000, you leave a comment mentioning Cy. We're going to pick from those people, the subscribers and the commenters, and you're going to win 15 minutes on Zoom with Uncle Cy. It's 15 minutes you'll never forget. I can assure you that. So be sure, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. YouTube.com slash Duck Call Room. See, it's not that hard, Cy. I know. I actually feel like I'm at the fair, and I need a tennis ball. All you get is one shot. Them, them are like the milk jugs, boys. By the way. Knock down a winter teddy bear. Well, then I'm putting on a helmet. But oh, before, no, no, he put a helmet. All right, boys. Get he Johnny D's duck- helmet. Hey. Before I you wa- walked here. in, Martin, Cy threw me a moon pie, and I, and I almost knocked my head off and spilled my coffee. Spilled I coffee. heard the calamity. Hey, that's yeah. A, the calamity. Oh, that's Cy throwing the moon hey. pies. Starting a food fight in here that he can't hey, finish. moon pie banana. Oh, a banana. Flavor. A banana moon pie. Okay. You didn't like it, so you just decided to throw it? Uh, well, he he said, he, <laughs> Dolan has just asked me, did I play sports? Yeah. And I answered, yes, I played them all. Thank you. And then Phillips had told me. Did you well, play hey, it? Hey, here it comes. I didn't get moon pie out of That's my right. mouth hey, before and, he let and loose hey, with it. Hey, here it comes, the whistle. Did you play any of them well? I know uh, you played them all, but did you I play any well? I played one of them very well. What's Football. that? T-ball. Football. 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 I was a great downfield blocker. I can see that. Because it was it was to the point, you got to understand, I had it down to a science, okay? If you were a really good referee, you would call clipping, okay? Because it's always, I was getting him by halfway from the backside, from blindsiding him. Cheap so, shot. Oh, you was crack, hey, you was crack hey, back blocking before crack it was back. cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. This was yeah. Crack, before the crack, forward crack. pass yeah. had been invented. And so concussions uh, were... Legal oh, yeah. about. Well, hey, you know, that's what's so, wrong with everybody that play football. Hey, you know, they, too many concussions. No, back then they didn't have no helmets on, so they knew to get their head out the way. No, the worst hey, thing they I've did always, for a football player was give them a helmet. I, worst I, thing they did to a football uh, player. Well, they got it where they can't even play anymore. No, they're playing flag football now. No, no, I know. But yeah. if you took the helmets off. That's actually an interesting one. Yeah. Oh, no, no. If you just remove the helmets, they get it out of the way. Stop using hey, them as weapons. When they played mm-hmm. back in them days, JD, when you were a kid, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were called Iron Men, and they was called that way for a reason. Well, you went offense and defense. Oh yeah. Okay, so hey, you had to be, you know, long lasting longevity. Okay. You had to go all the way out on long offense. Then longevity. when you turn around, you go all out on defense. So you played receiver and cornerback? Oh, I throw the ball in and run and catch it. Mm. Quarterback and, and receiver. Okay, oh, I've heard it all. Oh, back in them days, son, you had to be do it do it all. Were you – so, I mean, I know you went to a small school, so there was only like eight of you, so you played quarterback and receiver? Oh, I played Kicker, all punter. positions, son. That's that, all positions. <laughs> 
I don't think you play defensive tackle. Hey. No, mm-hmm. I did play Monster Man on defense, though. Monster Man? Yeah. It's a new position. I had one, Fill one us in. job. No, you just take out their best player no, no, no. every play. No, no, I had one job. Go to the football, okay? It didn't make you know, difference where it was at. Go, it that, go that, to the Kill football. the man with the ball. Isn't That's what that the what other ten people defense? are doing, hey, too. Look, the best <laughs> defensive player I ever made, we was playing Fair Park. Okay. Fair Park. Yep, in Shreveport. And that was when Steve the Bear Jones no way. won All-America. All-America. Steve the Bear Jones? Yep, Steve the Bear Jones. He's a fullback. Uh, Fact right. check. About 5'4", 280, okay, and just no neck. Okay. He well, I a, gathered that from 5'4", oh, no, 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 no. 280. No, no. Hey, You're going to be missing some pieces. He had a head on <laughs> shoulders, and then, hey, look. <laughs> I started to tell. I started to tackle the quarterback, you know, because hey, he said, "Huck, quarterback, huck." Look, uh, uh, the hole opened up. Okay, the the uh, a guard and the center cross blocked. Okay, the hole opened up big enough for you to drive eighteen wheeler sideways to it. Okay, that's a big one. Yeah, but anyway, I started to hit the quarterback. And I said, "I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna have to hit." The man. The bear. The I'm, ha- I'm going to have to take on the bear. Well, I took him on. <laughs> and the only thing Coach Sark said when we was watching it on the film. Get your head out the way. No, no. He just said, uh, son, the only problem you got, you ain't got enough uh, beans in your pants. Because, look, I hit Steve the Bear Jones perfectly. Form was right. Hip, hip wrap my arms. and pants. Hey, no, no. Wrap my arms around his legs. 35 yards behind me, I finally tripped him up after he had just beat me to death and with I'll, his knees. So I he hate drug to, you 35 he, yards? Oh, no, no, he didn't drag me. He, carried he was him. bouncing me off his knees for 35 yards. Yeah. He sang a little song he while didn't, he did look, it. Let look, me tell you I something. I felt like I had been in a ring with nine sumo wrestlers. Uh, let me tell you they something. they had all jumped on top of me. So I didn't trip him up. Steve got tarred. Yeah. That's the only reason he went. Oh no, 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 no! He had no. that ninety pounds hey, on him. Yeah. I look like a uh, a monkey rolling around on a rugby ball. A rugby, a rugby yeah, ball. A rugby ball. Rugby Basically, ball. you look like a hamster in a wheel. Oh no, no, yeah. That's what you. And look he like. was literally beating me to death with his knees. It's but sad. you wasn't letting go. It but sounded I, like I this. I did get him down. You got him down. That's I important. did get him down. It was a, it was amazing. I would pay money to go back in time and watch Cypress. No, hey, no, no, no. Look, Jerry Aldridge, the coach of uh, West Monroe, West Monroe coach has got some films of me playing football. I'm serious. We oh, need that. We're going, to get, no, we're no. going to get Coach Arliss because no, Coach no. Arliss coached me. We're going to bring him on the show. No, no. Coach no. Arliss coached me now. Well, no, no, because, hey, I'm serious. Okay. He has film of you playing football. He's got film of me playing football. Way back to 1900? <laughs> yeah, way back there. 19 what? Well, I graduated 66. Yeah, like 64. There were cameras then. Yeah. I don't know. That's fantastic. No, no. Coach oh, Arliss. No. Oh, coach hey, Arla, you probably you, don't watch this or listen hey, to it. But you about, we, hey, we coming for you, Coach. No, no. Hey, you need to get it. I'm calling in you, a favor, Coach. No, no, yeah, because you're talking about a good comedy hour. Watching me uh, on film, playing football, oh, it would be hilarious. I don't know if I want Coach Arla's here. He'd be telling stories about when I was 15. Hey, and, no, we don't want to hear those. Well, yeah, it's a family hey, show, Mark. He was, well, a good I'm fo- just saying, hey, he was a good football player. Yeah. Real good. Good coach, too. Yep. Very good. Like good, like you were good or Actually, well, no, no, no. No, he actually <laughs> tackled the bear. No, no. Yeah. He didn't just yeah. ride him. Well, hey, hey look. <laughs> he, was, he was a lineman. Okay, he had a little weight on him. I didn't have no weight. You didn't. Look, you got to understand. I weighed 130 pounds. Uh, so you look there. like Martin in the third grade. <laughs> yeah, that's probably no, Martin, right. Hey, Martin was a grown man in the third grade. What are you talking about? I guarantee you this. In the hey. sixth, I weighed more than 130. Well, no, no. I'm just telling you. Hey, he was a grown man. No, you know? when Martin played football the first time, they were like, he had to step on the scale and he wasn't allowed to run the football because yeah. he was too big. And I only got to put one foot on the scale. Right. So hey. let me ask you this, hey, Martin. Stand on, one, hey, stand on one leg, Martin. Did Joe ever play bull in the ring? Y'all remember that? Oh. Of course oh, yeah. we do. Okay. Of course. So, look, my favorite thing to do, because I also That's played how they figured out who was going to play safety. 
Yeah. The boys that quit on that one, they're like, yeah. no, you get so out So you of get here, in so. the middle, you get in the middle of this ring, you're surrounded by guys, yeah. with all the football players, uh-huh. and everybody's got a number. And they call it numbers. So when they call, and my number was 24, so they'd say, whoever's in the middle, and then they'd say 24. <laughs> and they'd look around, they'd look at me, I'd just act like I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and then when they turned their head, cool, <laughs> And then they didn't forget who 24 was again. Fill of sneak attacks. So. Yeah. Hey, I learned it from Sai. There's yeah. a reason they call him McVillain. Yeah. Yeah. McVillain always, he's McVillain. always looking for an edge. Got an edge. You always got to have an edge. You took cheap shots on people? Okay. Only once because then, like I said, then they knew it. When we so. were talking baseball. Yeah, they all had a meeting before it. Yeah. McMillan's 24. Yeah. 24. <laughs> they just wait on me. Then. Then Base, anyway. Baseball. Who was the pitcher? No it's a, it's a major league game. I think it may have been in for the World Series. Even. Nolan Ryan. He's a big no. He's a big, long, tall fella. Randy Johnson. Hit the bird with, the, a, with a ball. And, and hit the pigeon. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. Randy Johnson. And exploded a pigeon. Yeah. Well, yeah. 99 fastball, miles yeah. an hour. F- fastball, nine mi- 99 miles an hour. And, hey, he that, was the greatest, that was the greatest film ever done. <laughs> that big old long rascal. I mean, hey. He come off the mound was halfway to home plate. Here it is. That's how tall he is. I'm trying to show it to you. Right. Ready? Si, watch that right now. <laughs> he looked like he was shot with a 12 gauge. <laughs> <laughs> the pigeon literally <laughs> exploded. We're friends of pigeons here in the duck <laughs> no, no, room. Hey. But that one no. bit the dust, baby. Hey. hey. Boom. I just wish- That's unreal. He wasn't a guy at Eagle. No, no. Hey. Eagle no. seen it coming. Oh, no. oh he's oh, yeah. seen it coming. That's right. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, that pigeon there. Nah, he, he has gone. it, boy. He gone. So that wasn't like hitting him with that rock and just turning his head around no. backwards. That no. pretty well hey, powered this him. Thing, this thing literally, it looked like a 12 gauge full choke. I remember it. Yeah, with about, oh, probably two. Cause <laughs> it, it blew up so bad. You know, uh, good grief. That's all right. Good. Well, let's take our first break. Right, we'll boy. be back right after this. It's May, and that's what made us think about that. It's going to be May. There we go. It's May and things are blooming. Why not see if your home and auto insurance savings can bloom too? We're almost halfway through the year. Head into June with one less thing to worry about. See if you're overpaying for home and or auto insurance. Um, look, Policy Genius makes it easy to compare home and auto insurance all in one place. They can find you the home and auto coverage you need for a lower price. Odds are. So... They've saved shoppers up to $1,000 per year over what they were paying for both home and auto insurance. Their team will handle the paperwork, set up everything, and switch you over to a new one. Getting started is easy. All you have to do is head to policygenius.com and answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Then Policy Genius takes it from there. They take all the hassle. They're not insurance uh, agents, so they'll compare the rates from America's top insurers, from Progressive to Allstate, State Farm, you name it, they'll do it to find your lowest quotes. The Policy Genius team can look for ways to save you more, including bundling your home and auto policies. If they find a better rate than what you're paying now, they'll switch you over all for free. Their service has earned them a five star rating across thousands of reviews on Trustpilot and Google. All you have to do is head to policygenius.com and let them quote you. It's that simple. You could be leaving lots of money on the table. I don't know why I like watching baseball fights so much. Uh, because most of them are like pillow fights until you run into the Nolan Ryan one. I mean, yeah, well, that's because, once again, Nolan Ryan is the toughest man to ever live. Nah, uh, easy. Well, we can Uh-oh. make a list oh, right we're now. Oh, got him. Ooh, Sorry, we're lick. still watching. What a lick. Watch this one. Bam! <laughs> Glasses went one way, look like teeth went another. <laughs> yeah. Look at his Got face. him. Got him. Sorry. Are we filming right now? Yeah, we're on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My bad. I was just watching you. I thought but we were you're, in a break. You're, you're saying, and Phillip's checking the stock market, what you got money in right now? You got any, oh, hot, you got any hot ones? Yeah. Oh, your boy Jason gave me a few hot Uh-oh. tips. Oh, boy. Oh. Got some hot hey, tips I will ones. say, Jace is pretty sharp when it comes to the stock market. Hey, you want to know what I put a bunch of money in? Six but, flags because we're going back to roller coasters, baby. Oh, I was supposed to it's say ro- to Rolex, rollers. bidets. Oh, here we go. Hey. Soft shoes. 
You know, I found the people that are pretty sharp at stocks are independently wealthy anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, make a bet and see where it hits. Yeah, see right. what, so just true. see what happens. Anyhow, no, Nolan you said Who did you say was tougher than Nolan Ryan? Oh, Walker, Texas Ranger. That's oh, yeah. not even a real person. How about Chuck Norris? That is a that's yeah. a What do you person. mean ain't a real you person? You want to say Walker, Texas Ranger. Who would win in a fight? <sighs> Walker, Texas Ranger or Matt Dillon? Ooh, you shouldn't put him to the test like that, J.D. <laughs> no, don't answer, that. Hey, that's a good one. That's don't a good answer one that, Let me just tell you, Matt Dillon would never get that pistol up to whip him because he'd have done got roundhouse kicked in the, in the chin. So. <laughs> he'd have told, I don't know about that, boy. He would have told Trevet, hold my hat. <laughs> Trevet, yeah. yeah okay. Hold my hat. Why? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, roundhouse right. kick. I just found a whole... Well, no, y'all, y'all forget one dedicated thing. Dedicated to Matt Dillon versus Walker, right, Texas. Matt Dillon was the marshal of Dodge City. That's fine. Dodge City was a and it, look, wild town. And well, let me tell you something. Walker, Texas Ranger was the Ranger of Texas. Yeah, them Jayhawkers don't want nothing to do with a Texan. Never uh-huh. liked the Jayhawkers, I said. Are you going Matt Dillon over Walker, Texas uh-huh. Ranger? I'm going I Nolan think Ryan it would over be. <laughs> I think it would be a good fight to watch. Okay. I, I think that. I think uh, the Texas Ranger would be shot. <laughs> I, and he probably had a pistol laid people. upside his head about three times. Well, just so we're clear, Walker carried a pistol too now. He, he didn't have to use it, but he toted right. it with him. the eyes wow. of a ranger are upon us. Well, so, you know what they used to say? One riot, one ranger. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It only takes one. You can have a riot, and it, they'll only send one ranger. Yeah. Oh. Because when he comes into town, hey, nice. he's after Texas Red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <What's> your- <laughs> uh. So you're going with Matt? Who's? I would just say it would be, it would be a good fight. Besides Samson, toughest man ever, Phil. Mm. I've got Nolan Ryan. I feel like I've kind of sold myself short now. Yeah. Bring yeah. up Walker come, Texas Ranger. Come back. You got to come back to me. Come back. Come back. Well, you're last. Everybody else is gone. Who'd you say, Martin? Walker. Chuck Norris. He won up Nolan Ryan. So you're going with Kung Fu. (laughs) No, I'm going with Chuck Norris. That's Kung Fu. Oh. It's not really (laughs) Kung Fu. It's like. (laughs) What is this? Yeah, it's Kung Fu. It's like redneck kicking. (laughs) Alive or dead, Johnny? I mean, you're forgetting whatever Mar- you want. Marshall Dillon's redneck too. Okay. Yeah, hey. no, I'm giving you okay. that. <laughs> All right, so I probably don't know this one, but I'm gonna have to go with a local name, JYD. I don't <laughs> That's the junkyard dog. Uh, <laughs> junkyard dog. Oh. You going with Snoop Dogg? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, junkyard dogs from WWE. Yeah, <laughs> junkyard dog. He going yeah. with Snoop Dogg, boy. Hey, he's a rapper. Nah, Snoop Dogg. He yeah, I'm the only person that picked a real human being. I picked Chuck Norris. No, yeah. you picked Walker Texas Rangers. Well, that, that was Chuck his, Norris is a real person. That was in yes, his prime. He is. Yeah, you're saying Chuck Norris in his prime. He never actually kicked somebody. That was all acting. No, no, that wasn't acting. Junkyard dog. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm, 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 I'm just saying. Oh, now that was real. <laughs> <laughs> we, used, we used to watch that. That's real stuff. Yeah. <laughs> si, wrestling's real. You know it. Huh. You know yeah, wrestling. I remember real. when. I remember when. Uh, you know, Jason Willie and all them was into that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I told what I told Jace that he was getting the ring. I said, Jace, here's one little thing. Let me tell you a little secret. If I climb up on the top rope. And I jump and land in your chest with my knee. You're going one or two places. <laughs> They're going to bury you. Are you going to the hospital for emergency life support surgery? So, <laughs> oh, my God. Because, hey, you're not going to get up and then whoop me in the end of this. Okay. That's the one or two places was going <laughs> to be or two places. after the burial. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. The morgue or the hospital. Right, right. Uh, the hospital uh, I was going heaven or somewhere yeah. else. Uh, now, I will give them this. Them are the greatest stunt men oh, and stunt ladies. Who? Okay, those that are in the ring and doing all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Because, <clears throat> hey, funny. if you don't, because if they wasn't... <clears throat> There would be a lot of people dying in the wrestling industry. Oh, all, I mean, like all the time. I love it. I, I love who it. have we gone over our favorite wrestlers? I don't before? know. I don't think so. Oh yeah, we have. We have. have oh yeah, we did. Hacksaw. Yeah, hey, that's it. Well, you all you gotta do is hacksaw. think of a two before. Whoop. 
fuck. And yeah. here he comes. Mm-hmm. I need to watch more <laughs> Junkyard Dogs. I didn't. Oh, I don't that, know. That's old school. And yeah. he's got a good theme song. What was the theme song? Another one bites the dust. <laughs> okay, well, hey, that's since not that, how that song goes. Who is the best <laughs> yeah. boxer ever? Muhammad Ali. All right, moving on. Mm. Are you saying he's well, not? Well, are we sure? Mm. What? So he's, he's, mm. I meant Holyfield. Are, are, in the are we airport. talking about? Are we talking about pound for pound? Just overall. No, 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 no. no. Overall, if, if you be, say somebody, they got to be able to beat the person I say. I don't care how much you weigh. I'll take Holyfield in his prime. Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Oh yeah, half a ear and everything. I met oh. him in the airport. He, I've, I've, I've met him one time. Half an ear and, and all. His he shake He's a big strong. man. What, somebody <laughs> bit his ear off. Yeah, Mike Tyson. Well, Mike somebody Tyson's tough it. too, though. You don't want to get hit by Mike Tyson. No, not Ooh. at all. I just wish I could stomp on you. <laughs> stomp. Hey, I'm going to tell him you said what that, that? JD. You know Mike Tyson? <laughs> no. <laughs> but he's probably listening. He, oh, I no. don't think Mike Tyson. I don't think we're there Mike, yet, if boys. you're out there, please don't hit me. Hit also, him, Also, you've said and, some outrageous stuff. And please come sit in this chair. Yeah. So oh, no, could, no, no, no. I'm whenever you said that. you wanted to eat our children, what did you mean? Who's sir? the two? Who's <laughs> I the have two specific one, questions. Look, who's the two you would like to see? Box? Yeah. In their prime, when they were at the top of their game. Oh, so we like time machine stuff here. Yeah, yeah. 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 The best of the best yeah, of the their prime. Yeah, the best of the best at oh, yeah. time. I, at the I time. would, I would like to see Muhammad Ali versus Tyson. Ooh, Ali that's a good Tyson. One. I'd like that's to see that. That's a good one. That, that would have been that would both be of them one. in their prime. That would be a pretty no, no. good. Yeah. I like this because you got like quick that. over who power. Would, I know, but who would? <laughs> oh, then, I have no idea. Then, okay, who would you put your money on in that fight? Uh, yeah, Muhammad Ali. I mean, probably no. Ali. Not, I couldn't. Not in, not in Tyson's prime. I don't know. But I mean, yeah, he wouldn't be able to hit him. Oh I, yeah, no, oh, no. Or, or he'd hit him because he'd move no, in close. I, that part, I, I just. The problem is Tyson may get caught. Ali's yep. arms a little longer, yep. so he gonna have to get in there uncomfortably but, close. But you you've seen him get in there close before. Yeah, I know. That just be that'd a be a good scrap. Bear. No, no, that'd be a good. That scrap. would be one that uh, I, I don't even know. You know, I'd have to ask the odds makers. All right, who you going? Oh, oh, it'd who be, are you going on this? It would one be here? about even money. Because the thing about it is, if Tyson got a lick on on Ali. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, he can hit. He's a bruiser. Yeah. Well, Si can speak to this more than the rest of us because he watched both of them. Because boxing was cool. Well, he yeah. watched both of them. In now boxing's just yeah. Yeah. trying not to get hit. You know, uh, don't, that's the thing, though. When boxing's Ali, just had to clip somebody out of 199 for a pay-per-view <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then they never run. even hit each other. Yeah. Who was the guy, Don King, that was the promoter? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. when we quit watching. Hair, hair. That dude was kind of cool hair. Yeah, he was. He was but you, but you know what the best thing that ever came out of boxing was? That grill. Because that mm-hmm. thing, you could grill some chicken on that thing. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> George, George Foreman. George Foreman George knew Foreman. how to make a oh, grill. No. Yeah. Big George. Yeah. Big no. George. But I wouldn't you want think that rascal hey, to hit me neither. Ali had a six-foot. Wingspan? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, six foot wingspan. He That's why, I like everybody that wants to watch this, I got a six foot wingspan. Yeah. No, 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 no. The, this is one. This is one arm. One arm. Oh, this six, six foot arm. arm. Oh, his six feet arms is what kept him in the game. No, no, no. This, this is one arm. Oh, this ain't doing this. It took a minute this. to get there, though. This ain't doing this. He had a six foot reach. <laughs> I don't think he had a six-foot reach. Okay. But I, but I wish he did. But, no, no, I'm serious. People used to watch him for one reason. Because he had six-foot arms. Oh, no, no, no. They was hoping somebody would whoop him. He should have been on the greatest show, but if that's the case. <laughs> the Guinness Book of World Records. the greatest show. No, no, I'm serious. I'm, hey. the, I'm the baddest man alive. Look at my six-foot arms. Hey. Well, not only that. You got you know, a six-foot hey. arm. You're going to trip over it. Hold right. on. No, John I just Hadith. Googled Muhammad hey, Ali's it's reach. It's six foot reach, I'm telling you. Six and a half foot. Yeah, that's this. Uh, yeah, so yeah, reach yeah, is yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Reach is everything combined. Yeah, but it, he had, it had to be pretty. <laughs> I'm not sure that ain't this, this, okay? Huh? I think it's just one. Six foot There ain't arm. a man alive that's got a six well, foot Well, hey, arm. I'm just saying. He did. Well, no, no, look. Mike hey, Tyson only had 71 inches. Look. Yeah. 
Because the reason I'm saying this, okay. Because the perfect it? man, remember that model hey. of, of some Da Vinci's perfect man? Like your reach oh. should always equal your height, like <clears throat> finger to finger. Oh, here we go, biology, and man. And the ones that were great, their reach was greater than their height. That means they could fight outside of themselves. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I used to look, when Ali used to do his little uh, uh, dance, mm -hmm. he had his arms, they was hanging near his ankles. Yeah. <laughs> No, how serious? Smoking. The man was doing the dance. Here. Hey, his hands were by his we're, feet. We're going, for crying out loud. We're going a little long here. Look, I, how tall is Muhammad Ali? Yeah. Muhammad Ali reached six, 78 inches, height six foot three. Yeah, so see, that he's five inches. He's fighting five inches outside of his body, is what they So saying. I'm six two, but my reach is probably six two. Or maybe even uh, just a lower. hair shorter. Yeah, shorter. Yeah. Come on, man. No, I'm just saying. Like that's. I'm serious. Hey, odds are you're shorter. You than need you to are. run some old films if you could get them. I bet. And you. hey, no, no, I'm serious. And run it. Well, yeah. Cause he's his, sitting, look. He's dancing like this. Well, his arms are. <laughs> and, hey, people are throwing <laughs> throwing licks at him, and he didn't even come close. <laughs> his arms are two or three inches longer than a normal man, so it's gonna look like he's got. <laughs> oh no, no, look! He looked like he's dragging the ground. Yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, oh my goodness! Well, I like let's, the boxing episode. <laughs> we'll look more into that. Let's take another break. We'll be back. His right arms after this. really are. It's weird. Yeah. Did you know the average American has 97 points they can add to their credit score? I did not know that. 97. 97. 97. They're down 97? They're 97 of them sitting out there, and most all of them don't know how to go get them. They don't That's know That's like it. an A in school, and they're just missing it. Exactly. It's 97. But you know what? That's three short of 100. <laughs> score master. Look at score master like a treasure map. Because score master tell you where to get them 97 points at. I like treasure. X hey. marks the spot, boys. Guaranteed. He, did you know he used to be a pirate? Yeah, and then he got his eye fixed. That's, That's great. Right. That's he right. looks a lot better without the patch. That's right. Without the patch. The average score master uses raised their credit score 61 points in 20 days or less. <laughs> yes, that is 61 points. Hey, some of you know Zach from the Unashamed podcast, Phil and Jason's nephew. And oh, Zach, yeah. Somewhat yeah. kind of okay. our boss, but, you know, who knows? I'm not going to call him my boss. Uh, anyway, he Zach. tried Score Master because he listened to it here. Because yep. we read the ad. Way to go, Zach. Added 130 points on his credit because he's a cash is king kind of guy and saved tens of thousands of dollars on the life of his land that he bought in North Carolina. I'm going to drop the address down below. That way you can go check it out. His land, that is. Um, way to go, Zach. Nah. We're proud of you, Zach. <laughs> way to go, Zach. Uh, but anyway, Score Master puts you in control of your finances, not the banks. Enroll in minutes and see how many plus points Score Master can add to your credit score. Visit scoremaster.com slash duck. That's scoremaster.com slash duck. 97 points, boys. Hey, uh, and if you do, you'll end up with land in North Carolina because right. you're Phil Robinson's Black nephew. Mountain Add region. it up now, boys. But you won't have a job in Congress. Scoremaster.com. Did you ever box? Like, cause in the military? Like, I had a buddy in high school. Okay, he w he went to the Golden Glove Finals. He got beat out in finals. Oh, yeah, you Did you ever that. box yeah. in high school? Uh, no. Like put. The I wish I would have, because I, I'm telling you, people don't realize uh, watching a sport like boxing. You talking about got to be in shape? Oh, hundred percent. To go for three minutes mm -hmm. is ridiculous. They got to be able to to jab like for fifteen minutes to actually go in and get in the ring for three minutes. But yeah. I, I like I like this prime versus prime. So Yeah. Let's let's go with another one. Let's go Tiger Woods Ooh. versus so fair, Jack though. Nicholas. That's not fair. Prime versus prime. No 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 no. No no no, 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 that, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a good matchup. It wouldn't be though. Oh, it would be. Yes, it, it would too. Because Tiger Woods it, Prime versus Prime has way better equipment. Like Tiger Woods got five thousand oh, dollars. So either so either Jack in his prime plays with Tiger stuff, or Tiger goes, or Tiger goes yeah. back to that. You're gonna yeah. come up with a dead draw. You I was just think say no talent, no, because here's the thing: uh -oh. talent for talent. Yep. We're talking like in their prime, talent for talent. Tiger. Oh, versus, that would be that Tiger would be versus Jack. Yeah, that Who would, you got. Yeah. Tiger. <laughs> but you, but I, Tiger. I, I, I'd have to go the odd makers. 
and say, hey, now, who, here we go. Why, why can't you make you, decisions no, for yourself? It's you going to be the, even money. You are the odds maker. I would probably go, I would probably have to go with Tiger. Tiger. His prime. I never saw Jack Nicholson. That's the, that's the problem is a lot of people don't, nowadays, well, don't Well, no, no, because you don't realize, Jack. just, unless you've met some of these people and been around them, and 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 watch what they can do with these stupid things. Yeah, no, I think it'd it. Be it's a, unreal. I think it'd be a great match. Yeah. I really do. I don't yeah. know. I mean, probably give the edge to Tiger, but I think that bias comes from me growing up watching Tiger. No, no, yeah. I'm, I'm sure somebody the who grew up watching group. Jack would say would say the same way. Go yeah. the same way. But I just think it would be really fun to be to be able to watch stuff like that. I mean, it'd be like same deal of watching. You know, Kobe and Michael Jordan. No, that wouldn't even be close. Nah, Michael Jordan. Thank you. No, Not even I, close? I, 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 no. Not no. even close? No, no, one no, on no, one? no, 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 no. Y'all not understanding something here, okay? I'm on Michael Jordan's side. I, I know, but you don't understand. Kobe Bryant ain't no, ain't no slouch, son. <laughs> I know. I would, okay, I would and look, no, 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 no. You got to understand, okay? Because here we go again. This is a, a talent thing, okay? Yeah, and Michael Jordan. Yeah, had, uh, uh, they're even. Uh, easy. <laughs> easy. Uh, easy. Okay. easy. Uh, and then Michael Jordan would come to your house and, like, slit your tires to make sure he won. He I'll was give a you an example. Person. you got to understand something, okay? If you have never met one of these guys. A basketball player? Yeah. Have you? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is one of them deals. Look. You come walking in. <laughs> headphones off. No, no. Head headphones headphones off. Off. He is standing up. We can't hear you, Sai. You come walking in. We can't hear him. He's walking around the, the office. <laughs> he's, and he's looking up. He's, he's still looking, looking up. To the ceiling. He's still You're not even on up. the YouTube channel. You're so this ain't human. Hey, this guy is I'm in size mic. And again on the arm reach. He's giving us a full rundown on well, how hey, tall basketball no players are. There's a lot of y'all that complain about our audio anyway. This one's really going to be bad for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but, so basketball players are Welcome big. back, Si. They're tall. But but the so but that doesn't make Kobe better than Michael Jordan cuz Michael Jordan's just as big as Kobe. I know. Look. Now, what do you want me to do? You look can at? google it. I'm going to google it. Stats. Stats. Kobe Bryant. Stats. Stats. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan took three years they're off gonna, to go play baseball. Hey, they're going to be – no, no, they're going to be close. Yeah, but baseball needed Michael. Michael hey. didn't need baseball. Right. Michael don't need nobody. They're going to be close. Raise I'm your hand you. if you watch Michael Jordan play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand if you went to Birmingham to do it. Ooh, I didn't do that. <laughs> the you Birmingham were, Barons, You went man. and saw a game? Heck yeah, I did. That's of awesome. Of course I did. Raise your hand if Michael Jordan owes you money from the golf course. That's not true. Uh, okay, that's man. a lie. Raise your hand if you ever seen Michael Jordan fly. Like on TV? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. From the okay. from the circle to the hoop and oh, dunk it. Kobe do it too now. And he Kobe could do Kobe it also. Kobe could do it too. I, well, I'm just saying. Michael Jordan was a little meaner, although oh. Kobe was mean too. But Michael Jordan... He had nobody He's got the edge for the defense. I'm giving you the Vegas played. odds. It's it, Michael Jordan's a little bit favored. Okay. Pick your, Jordan pick played your a little better defense, and Jordan's stats, he, he scored just as much as Kobe did, basically. Took a couple years off. And he did it in the days where Charles Barkley was trying to take your head off. His, basketball has slowly gotten softer and softer. Just like football. Yeah. Which, let me grown. tell you. Here's and what I'll Michael tell Jordan you. Michael Jordan did it in the mean days. Well, here's what I. He'd drop 50 points and they'd win 87 to 80. But here's what i tell you about Jordan. If Jordan played in Kobe's era, he'd uh -huh. have played just like him. He wouldn't have been down there fighting because he ain't got to. He had to in his era to do what he had to do. That's a good point. That's an excellent point that so, I hate. So yeah. Much. I mean, it's just. I hate that point. It, well, well, it's, no, no, it's, it's, it's part of what it is. Yeah, but it's. I'm just telling you, you're forgetting. It doesn't discount the battle, yeah. and I would pay lots of money. Oh. Rest in peace, Kobe. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Great man. I'd love to see Great dad. It. Oh, no, no. Love to Baller see Baller of yeah. a basketball player. That yeah. would have been an epic, epic game. And nobody gives the same a thing flying that, rip about you, LeBron. Thank well, you. Moving on. Well, no, no, because it's, it's the same thing with <laughs> the Shut okay, up and dribble. With the uh, 
Magic Johnson. We got political. And, and Larry Stop Bird. it. <laughs> Same thing. Larry Bird, Jer- Magic Johnson. Yeah. No. Play, Magic Johnson whoop Larry Bird. Oh, I now bet, come on, Johnny I bet D. Your pardon. Si, he's too young to know. Said it. Hey, he's too I young to know. Said it out I beg loud. Your pardon. And Dan Marley would wipe the floor with <laughs> all of them. <laughs> hey, kids, look up Dan Marley oh, if you need to. Hey, for the three of y'all in our comment section, I actually know who Dan Marley is, plus John David. Well, welcome to the show. Dan Marley's my favorite basketball player of all time. Oh. He was not on the original Dream Team. He was on the Dream Team Two, Number Nine, Phoenix Suns. F- later, became coach of the. Grand Canyon State University Antelopes. Great guy. And if we keep this podcast up, inevitably you will see John David ditch the honey hole shirt for a Dan Marley jersey oh, at God. some point. Amen, so. amen, <laughs> and amen. I love Dan Marley. Thunder Dan. Oh, no, well. that was, since we've been talking about that would be something to see is go back and collect, okay, collect all the greats and put them on this team and this team and then let them go at each other. I'm good. taking, you give me oh. Michael Jordan, John Stockton, Carl Malone, Scottie Pippen, and Charles Barkley, and they'd whoop anybody now. I think I might have said six people, so that would help them. Well, you got to have a sub. Yeah. But you give me those. The dream team, I mean, you ain't bad. I'll Hakeem take the Lajuan. Harlem Globetrotters. He's a New York Generals kind of guy. <laughs> well, you named off a few, but then I got to thinking about, okay, no, you could take this and that and match That's what's fun about these what-if yeah. what okay. if yeah. matchups. Well, because they're tough. impossible to prove. They are. Because here's the thing. It, on Michael Jordan and, uh, well, Michael Kobe. Jordan and Kobe. Okay. <laughs> got it. You're talking about two guys with the same – Drive? No, no. How do I uh, – Tenacity. Yeah. In yeah. the sport. Want in to. the sport. Yeah. That's a lot okay, of they, talk there. They the same, had a lot of want. They're the same, okay, because these guys, they're unreal. Oh, yeah. Okay. They were that. They're they're past being human. Yeah. You know what's sad? They, they really are. They're past being human. Yeah, 100, 100%. Yeah. They're all freaks. All the yeah. great ones are No, freaks. no, I'm serious. Like, they really are. Mm-hmm. Like, Michael I mean, Jordan, you got to think about it. He could leave the ground at the circle, for crying out loud. Yeah. At the circle. At the at the circle behind the free throw, where you circle. stand on the line on three throws and circles behind it, his foot could be <laughs> at behind the circle. He leaves the ground and stunks it. And when John David jumps, his feet don't leave the ground. <laughs> Not hey, both at the same well, time, no. anyway. <laughs> you can't maybe, get a piece of paper hey, under look, there. Maybe this one. <laughs> he can't jump rope. He can't jump maybe rope. You, no, I can't. Maybe you can see a little bit of no, it. No, he don't jump rope. He jumps fishing line. <laughs> I've, 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 I've never touched barely the rim. gets under the tennis shoe. <laughs> Well, he uses braid. That way, it don't break. That's right. Don't break. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. I love it. I like the. I like where this went. I do too. Yeah. No, no. We probably got time for another one after this break. Let's let's come up with another one in the break and I'm, let's okay. debate. If y'all bring it. Drew Brees up, I'm gonna get mad. I'm no, not. no. That's where I was going next. Okay. No, no. Here we go. That's we'll save I was it. Going, yep. Number That's one. Save it. Hands down. Don't say anything different, or I'll hurt you. What do you want to talk about, Martin? Oh, you know what I want to talk about. Every single episode, I want to talk about it. What you know what? It? You know what they've been doing since <laughs> I've been alive. They've been researching for thirty-five years. Here we of go. Research and development, boy. And what's it doing? Hey, and guess what? It's working for you only. Look, we had another listener of the podcast reach out. It's Travis from Kentucky. Travis from been Kentucky. Having Old neck. Travis. He said, I have this neck pain. And he said, oh, I had this neck pain. Ooh, what? Uh. He said, it was Omega XL was worth a shot. I've tried everything else. He did it. Neck pain. Gone. He gone. Sent the neck he pain. gone. He uh. sent the neck pain He's back loose. down to New Zealand. Right. He said, to get on out of here. pristine waters, so. boys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pain relievers and topical rubs just mask the problem. Omega XL neutralizes the inflammation. That neutralization. Painful, stiff joints and muscles. That's good enough for us. It's good enough for Travis. It's been good enough for several other listeners. Let's help get you started. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. free. Visit. <laughs> visit. <laughs> No, go it's finish free. it. Look how floppy right. my wrist are. Visit Omega. <laughs> Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 
one eight hundred. 844-4888. Tom Brady wouldn't have fumbled that. <laughs> he wouldn't have fumbled <laughs> it, JD. Later, if you want to hear my feelings on that man. Are we, are we back? We're Drew, back. We're back. All right. Who's the greatest quarterback Drew Brees. ever? Right. No. Yep. He's, no. He's not. No, he's not. He's not the greatest quarterback. Is not, he not the greatest quarterback? The most accurate? 100%. Right. You can't argue that. Guar- yeah, that's him. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's right. him. Here's Is the thing he about the greatest Drew. quarterback? No. no. Yes. He no. wasn't the greatest team like Tom Brady, who had all top 10 defenses his entire career. Well, no, no. Well, well, you got Tom Brady. No, no. You got hey, four, his de- yeah, he won you know, a couple Super Bowls with 13 out. points. Time out. You know, Drew Brees brought him there and. Had a leaky faucet for his hey, defense. Time, Don't even get me started. Time out. <laughs> you know how you get top ten defenses? The coach calls and says, "Hey, you want to come play with Tom Brady?" Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. That started. Well, no, 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 no. You got to, JD. You got to give the man. What the do man. You do? He's got his due. Here's I'm just a, saying. Yeah, but here. everybody builds him up. He played every team he was ever on was real Here's good. Here's the thing about Drew Brees. Thank with you. Me. He's Personally. the best ever. No, no. Thank Personally. you. All right, no, moving no. on. Here's Next. the thing about JD. Let's go to Drew hockey. Brees. Wayne Give Gretzky or Sidney Crosby? <laughs> no, no. Drew Brees, to be as little as he is. Drew Brees is smarter than everybody else. No, 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 no. As little as he is, okay, to have done what he's done oh, yeah. is a super achievement, okay? Really. Amen. Especially once. Yeah, okay, and he won Super Bowl. So, <laughs> hey. Yeah. I'm, but I, I will point out. But though, it's got an asterisk out beside it. Oh yeah. my yeah. god! Oh, glued on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but if you if you go back, I love starting. I that, I love starting you can go that back and up. change like ten plays that all went in favor of it, of Tom Brady and all went in disfavor of Drew Brees when neither one of them were on the field, and everybody be like, "Oh, Drew Brees is the best ever." Tuck rule, stupid Minneapolis miracle, stupid. Right. Uh, the, uh, we're gonna keep the flag in our pocket. That that ridiculousness. Uh, freaking Adam Vinatieri kicking fifty yard field goals at the end of games. Uh, what's his name? Seattle Seahawks should have beat them, and they didn't run the ball. Tom Brady's over sitting over there going, "We lost." And then now Malcolm Butler intercepts the dumbest pass of all time, and then Tom Brady's like, "Yeah, what again?" It's <laughs> It's he plays. It's just the he's he's really 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 oh, okay. good, but he's now, the luckiest man and it, alive. And, too. His, and now, his hands are really really heavy. And then his wife makes fifty million dollars a year, and I'm sick of Tom Brady. Hey, look, no, no, I'm sick of you. Here's start. the greatest part of all this is okay. Tell us, right. I'm sick of you. Tom. You know you know where all this comes from, or where all this leads to, or where this is actually going going pinpoint to the Super Bowl. Nope. I think it's, I know where you're. Is going. the coach. No, Tom Brady proved that wrong. Uh, I used Ooh, to think that. Right. Nope. Nope. I'm well, going nope with what? just for fun. Huh? The coach. Yeah. What about it? Because you got to look, okay? Sean Tom what? Brady. Tom what? Brady comes to another team. And wins again. Yeah. And that's it. But why did he win? Because <laughs> the coach? Huh? Because he's coach. Tom freaking Brady. Nope. <laughs> coach. And because he had Devin uh, White, a crazy coach. person, play a middle line. Hey, look here. Hey. Once again, no, no, the coach, go, the go defense, Tigers. go Tigers. Hey, the coach, he had ten other players to put with Tom Brady. Well, yeah, because well, you know hey. why. Hey, Tom's coming to Tampa. You won't come. Uh, well, no, no, yeah. that's why I'm Only saying like two people did that. Huh. Well, hey. hey, Leonard Fournette and. Gronk and Gronk's passing. Uh, I don't want to talk and football. And the other crazy person? Football just makes me mad in every sense of the form. <laughs> yeah. I Stop. used to like football. Then a bunch of stuff happened, and they can't throw penalty flags, and I don't like football anymore. And, then, and Taysom Hill is the greatest football player to ever live, hands down. And then That's the Saints lost about. again in the playoffs. And, it was and here again, again, I go with the coach. How many has uh, – Jared Cook name? doesn't fumble that ball. Nobody's talking about Tom Brady. Super Bowls of oh, what's your name? Uh, the Patriots won. Belichick. Yeah. One less than Tom Brady. Yeah, one less than Tom. <laughs> yeah. How many yeah. is it? Can we t- – six. six and Tom Brady has seven. <laughs> Can we talk about something, though? 
they drafted uh, Mac Jones? Just anything else. It's uh, not football. I'm so sick of football. They compared draft pictures uh, and said, that's our guy. That's their guy. It looked just Alabama. like Tom's. It looked just like and Tom's And he's already draft used picture. to playing for such a warm and bubbly coach? coach. Who was the coach in basketball that had Jordan and all them guys? Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson. Yeah. The greatest basketball coach ever. <laughs> who, who was like, I, well, I did I it. I just when, keep saying, hey, this is going to pinpoint down. To the yeah. man running it, boys. I do believe in that, though. Hey, it starts with the coach. Most of the because he will not accept. Oh, nothing. here's what here's Especially what I'll say in football. Bill Belichick taught Tom Brady how to win. That's it. And then Tom Brady took that to Tampa with him. Yes, sir, he did. That's a good hundred percent. He yeah. did that. Oh yeah, I still. Have. Yep. Well, why are we talking about this? <laughs> but I'm just sad. But hey, it didn't work. Is- it didn't work for Michael and Charlotte, though. Or wherever he was. The went. Wizards yeah. when Jordan was yeah, a the Washington Wizard. Or, wizard. Well, hey, you oh, got, yeah, he owned part of Charlotte. Hey, or the thing about that is, is, though, hey, is that yeah. you've got to go and they've got to have something for you to lead. Tom Brady is a leader. Tom Brady went to another team, okay, and bam, here he comes, boys. Yep. Uh, and when the boys put, put their odds on it and everybody went against Tom Brady, yep. I said, y'all should have called me and asked. He did. You don't bet against Tom Brady. Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't you? Don't you, you better know? Call hey, you better somebody. call somebody. Uh, <laughs> you better call somebody, son. Look at it. Look I, at I just it. want Chuck Norris to show up and kick Tom Brady's butt. Uh, <laughs> uh, he would have, but according to hey, you, Nolan Ryan Matt sent Dillon him into can, retirement. Matt so. Dillon can handle him. Matt <laughs> Dillon could handle Tom Brady. Uh, <laughs> Anyways. Hey, he could, but he ain't going to mess with Giselle. Okay. What's next? What's next on our agenda? I'm in a foul mood now. Oh, this podcast is no longer fun. I but yeah, you got to look at it, though. The reason I'm saying coach. Uh, you've made me look take, at it 15 take, times. Take uh, college basketball. What? Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah. We went the down guy, a different road the guys, here. The guys that are always in the playoffs or in the running. Didn't none of them make it this year? I know. It's a weird year. <laughs> oh, Something went bad this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm serious. I know it. Because normally it's what? Uh, Dick, yeah. North Carolina, Kentucky. Kentucky. Well, all the guys that should the, just have gone straight to the NBA yeah. for the one year just went ahead. Yeah, it's went. like the NBA D League. Yeah. yeah, that's what they are. Yeah. What else do y'all want to talk about that's actually fun? Like sunshine oh, and puppies. Oh, this has been a blast, J.D. I just don't like football anymore. Uh, I bet a bunch of people don't like football anymore. Everybody's sick of you, Tom oh, Brady. Oh, we just had the draft. What? Did, who? Did, I don't even know. I was gone. Who did the Saints draft? They do anything worth it? You've never heard of them. Other than the Notre Dame quarterback? Yeah, we did I saw get that, that guy. Well, I think that. What was the deal about somebody bought, just got a quarterback and then didn't get no receivers? Oh, that was Aaron Rodgers. Aaron wow. Rodgers wants out. Come, yeah. Come to New Orleans, no, no. Aaron. <laughs> Um, but well, yeah. that's, that, again, that's the coach. If you got a good quarterback that's got a good arm, and you don't have nobody to throw the ball to him, thank you. You know, hey, well, you just wasted your bunny. Oh, that's why <laughs> Taysom you know, Hill you know, is you know, the greatest football player ever. All right, he can play at everything. He can do every one of them. That's he can do stuff Tom Brady never thought about that's doing. Right. He can play it all. <laughs> yeah. Who's the better middle linebacker, Taysom Hill <laughs> or Tom Brady? Thank you. <laughs> Right. Moving on. Best football player, Taysom it don't Hill. Ma- it don't matter if Tom Brady can't bench all of his rings right. and Taysom Hill can. There's still Tom's. That's right, boy. Hey, there's, still Brady. there's still Brady and his seven Super Bowl rings. He keep playing. He's going to need another hand. No. That's right. He's still got the Super Bowl rings, boy. Uh, well, I'm tired of this podcast. He's tired. Anybody, He's anybody sick want a of Bible boy. verse about it's, Tom Brady. Well, mm-hmm. Folks at home, it ain't very often you can get this boy to not want to talk. So the fact that we got him there, <laughs> yeah, that's, I got a that's Bible an verse accomplishment. To, to He's hurting. Out. Well, we got to take Moss one more. Moss will still kill and destroy all those rings. But we got to take one more Treasures break. In heaven. What is that, John? The smallest, this is the smallest, this is the smallest fellow playing I feel for you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, let's take one more break, and we're going to get into the inbox, and we'll wrap it That's up. Right, boys. I might put my feet up for this second. He's going to put, put his, his feet, feet up, up his boys. Oh, man. This is a what-if podcast. Boys. Yeah, this has been fun. <laughs> I, I'm I, so confused. I enjoy watching people squirm. That's yeah, fun. I, I'm not squirming. I don't even care anymore. He yeah. don't care. He, he don't really care He anymore. hates football anyway. Thank you. 
Oh, man. Well, Johnny D., what is in our hello at duckcallroom.com inbox? We got anything over there? Anybody been interested in what's going on? No. That's what I thought. All right, moving on. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. On. No, we had a fun. Uh, my man Russell left a YouTube comment for you, Si. And well, what was the comment? It's going to take you a minute to wrap your head around this question. Oh. But would you rather fight a duck the size of Martin or... 100 ducks no 100 martins the size of a duck, duck. no no you so have, 100 that's tiny very martins simple. that's very simple uh, okay break it down it's for one me. one against 100 okay you don't want to fight the 100 fight the one big one okay because the, little, the bitty one ones, big ones? little bitty ones 100 of them i, no. I just think keep any size them. duck is better than uh, Martin. I'd, I'd, Martin's I'd, smart. And I'll he, take one duck the size of Martin, boy. And <laughs> Martin fights dirty, too. Yeah. For we sure. already learned that. And get, yeah. uh, out of that hundred, <laughs> there'd be a lot of them fighting dirty. That's right. Hey. <laughs> About 90 Look, of them. Yeah. There's no such thing as a fair fight, guys. Is not it, anymore. Really? Uh, no, not anymore. Used to in my day when I was a kid. Y'all fought yeah, fair. Yeah, we'd, we'd fought fair. Because I've heard stories of your now, nephews. Now, hey, there was, some sneaky, there was some sneaky punches going on because I got one in high school. <laughs> sneaky punches. Okay, well, we that's was, not fair. We was fair. talking. No, I was talking, fair. and, hey, he dope popped me. <laughs> yeah. You said, hey, I won that fight because he hit me in the head, well, and guess should, what happened? He broke his thumb. <laughs> you shouldn't have been talking. And then he said, hold it, hold it. And I said, yeah, oh, I'm going to hold it. All right, bam, 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 bam. Then they had to pull me off of him. Did you pop him like a purple tail wasp? Oh, yeah. I popped him a few times like a purple tail wasp, like a big uh, wasp nest. <laughs> you make me so nervous. Hey, I know. It already I think you might could take times. a regular size Martin. Uh, uh, Who would win in a fight, Martin or Cy? In their prime, I'll go with Cy. In his prime now. In the prime. Because Cy prime. would just shoot uh, him. Not, hey, I'd sneaky punch him. Sneaky. What is a sneaky punch? <laughs> Show him, Sai. Hey, Show hey, him. Please don't. No. Show hey, him. Hey, let me. I, look, I'd say, look over yonder, and you look over like a dummy, and I'd punch you. Pistol whip him. <laughs> All I got to say is you better make it count. Hey, oh, well, I am. Trust me. I At my a, age, hey, I ain't got but one in me. I got a So I got to make that one. I got a solid the hospital, chin. The hospital trip I got a you. solid chin. Now. I can, <laughs> take, a, a, I can take a good lick. He can take a good lick, boys. Hey. Well, look, hey. Or some that I thought used to, was I could in. outrun you, but I can't now. I bet hey, you. So could I don't know what's happening. Outrun him for a minute. No, I couldn't uh, last a minute. You could, because I ain't running after you. Well, so. I think say I couldn't last a minute. Uh, yeah. I believe in you. All right, here's here's my favorite question of the day. Uh, um, we're gonna call it the Sergeant family. Uh, emailed in, and their wife and him. I don't know how to say that. They just found out they were having their first kid this year. Well, congratulations. Right. Congratulations. And they're trying to make a list of baby names. Are we? Do we know what it is yet? Are we going to wait? I was curious to what Uncle Cy thinks the name should be if it were a boy. Uh-oh. Give so us the Sergeant family wants you to name their family, child. For the Sergeant family, know him the child. Cy, give three names and let them choose. <sighs> no, I think you should just name it. One name? Just Cy names it. Too much last pressure. name, Cy. Si, last name, Sergeant. Yep. Yeah, last Sergeant. Last name is Sergeant. So you get to just name this child whatever you want. I'm going to make them agree to just go with this because <laughs> I feel like I got that power. I just want them to name it whatever hey, comes out of your mouth. Hey, so hey, Johnny Cash. Easy, Johnny Cash. Tom Brady. No, no, hey, John, <laughs> Johnny Tom Cash. Brady. Johnny oh, Cash's song just hit me in my mind. Johnny Cash, a boy yeah. named Sue, a boy named it's Sue. Sue Sergeant. Sue Sergeant? Sue Sergeant? But no, Sue uh, Sergeant. Uh, uh. I do like the Sue Sergeant, but no, Sue if be, it's a girl. Uh, I I need more uh, grandfathers. Huh? What's the grandfather's What's name? What's the grandfather? Isn't there a very? They didn't send me their ancestry dot com profile. They just sent me. A well, hey, one. isn't there a very obvious name if their last name is Sergeant? I like big. I mean, you were in the military. Big. Sergeant first class, but I mean, hey, <laughs> were you a sergeant? Yes, I was a sergeant first class. I think That's they should name this child Silas that Merritt Sergeant. Yeah. What if they named it Silas? Silas would not be a bad name because that was Paul's traveling companion, so it would be a biblical name. Oh, but there we go. if you name the kid that, Isn't that trust me, if you name him that, he's going to be on the road from now on. Because that's the way I've been. My mother named me. She said, it don't seem like a hedge long. I said, well, it's your own fault. You named me after Paul's Chamber Companion, and I've been on the road ever since. There you go. Hey. Silas Sergeant. Silas Staff uh, Sergeant. 
I'm more curious. Well, now, hey, that ain't a bad S S S S S. Silas Sargent. So you just name these people's child. Well, hey, 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 hey. I would say come up with your own name, Mister and Mrs. Sargent. Yeah, but then they don't have anybody to blame it on. They blame oh, you want on somebody you. to blame it on? Well, hey, send it my way, baby. Send yeah. it on. <laughs> name him Silas. Uh, Silas. Just don't I mean, name him Willie. That's right. Don't name him Sue either. <laughs> Please don't name him How Willie. do you do? That's right. How do you do? My name is Johnny Cash. <laughs> we got a lot of baby and questions. And I'm going to kill you. Today too. All right, so uh, Brian... Brian emailed in. He loves the podcast. Well, I appreciate and it. He's going to have his first child soon. Oh, oh. Well, congratulations. But it's going to be a girl. Okay, so they know this one's going to be so a lady. They, don't, they do not want you to name her, but if you got any good ideas, throw it out there. But since he's about to be a father and your daughter turned out way better than you... He Ooh. wanted some tips on raising a girl, well, hey, and that's why Brian did you say from she Kentucky. Turned out better than me. I, he actually didn't say that. I oh. did. Oh, you did. <laughs> I, I just, I, I just, just added that I one thought. in there myself. Hey. Now I understand she's better looking than I am. And <laughs> we don't know where that came from. That's God doing. Okay. So right. he just needs some tips for new father. You got anything? Raising a girl in today's society. Raising a girl. Hey. How big of a padlock? Lover you like you're dying. Lover like you're dying. Every oh. day, every minute, every hour. Open communication. Yep. That's a good and one. Help. Yeah, and Phil, you've got, help. how old's your daughter? Yep. She is 18. Ooh, that's, oh, that's just a lot of open communication. It scares me just oh. thinking about Lottie being 18. She's two. We watch a lot She's of Frozen. Two. Okay. It's yep. easy right now. Yeah, you're in the two stage, two year old stage. Terrific twos. The terrible twos. They're, they're not Terrific. I remember, I remember those. Were they good? No, they were terrible. <laughs> Why do you think I they like call them terrible kids, twos? I don't know. Hey. But that's all that I got. Hey, Martin, you got any baby Here's my tips? tip to you. Yeah, hey. let somebody else have them. No, no, I'm serious. <laughs> Look, enjoy, enjoy your children because, hey, they'll be grown and leaving home before you realize it. That's a good one. And it kind of goes with today's uh, Bible verse that is directed directly at Tom Brady. Uh, <laughs> Matthew 6, 19 mm -hmm. through, let's go through 21. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and neither thieves do not break and steal didn't say that right and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is there, there your, your heart, heart is also finish it baby <laughs> hey yeah that's a good one you can be as good as you want on this earth but one day nothing that you did here will matter if you don't make it to upstairs the, to, to the heaven. promised land thank you and we're out. very good appreciate Let's you go guys on. we're out we'll yep. see y'all next tuesday here on the duck call right. next tuesday